Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, today I'm going to do my Derby vs Swansea match review. I haven't had time to do it yet, but I'm going to do it now. Um, before I start with the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and also comment your thoughts on the Swansea game. So here is my match review. Um, obviously, it was good to get a win. It was good to see Harry Wilson get two more goals to his record. What a good player he's been this season so far. Um, let's be honest, he's been scoring some cracking goals, mainly outside of the box, so that is good. But one thing that is a negative thing from, you know, this season is we can't, we, I can't remember how many clean sheets we've kept. We've not kept enough clean sheets, which obviously, as long as we get a win, it's not a bad thing. But it's still not a good thing to keep a clean, uh, not to keep a clean sheet. Also, another negative thing from this season is um, we keep scoring own goals. We must be on top of the leaderboard for own goals this season. Um, so, you know, I think in January Lampard will be looking to work on his defence and maybe goalkeeper. I mean, Scott Carson's a good goalkeeper, but, he, you know, he's going to get tired. He's going to get injured. And, you know, he's he's getting old now. So there, there is games where he's going to need resting. But I don't really know if Roos is a championship quality goalkeeper. I think we should give him a chance. But I just don't know if he is a good enough goalkeeper. I think we need to look at goalkeeper and get someone who can either be Carson's number two that is good enough for the championship or get a new goalkeeper that's good enough for the championship and get Carson as number two. So I think that's some of the... Um, needs to be looked at in January. Um, another thing that needs to be looked at is a right-back. We've got Jaden Bogle as a right-back at the minute, but his replacement is Andre Wisdom. And I think with the team that Lampard's got at the minute, I don't think Wisdom really fits into the squad. We've got quite a fast, energetic team, and I don't think Wisdom really fits into it. Um, so I think that's one place that needs looking at. And then centre-back, I think that's another one. I mean, we've got... Curtis Davis out for the uh, season now, so we ain't got him, which means Alex Pierce will probably be a replacement now. Um, obviously, we've only got Tamori on loan, so we'll need to look at someone replacing him, you know, there. Um, and then left back, we've got Forsyth and Malone, which, you know, Forsyth has shown himself a bit better this season with Lampard. He's, he's been a better player, but... You know, I don't know if he's in Lampard's plans for the future. Malone's proved to be a good player, which is good. But, you know, it's the back four and the goalkeepers we need to work on, really. So, yeah, like I say, it was good to get the win. But, you know, we're not keeping enough clean sheets and we're not... We're scoring own goals too much. So, that is something we need to work on if we want him to go up this year. <clears throat> um, also, on this vlog, I'm going to say last night was the FA Cup draw. We drew Southampton at home. Um, it's a winnable game for us, to be fair. It's good to get a Premier League side so we can see where we're at. Obviously, Southampton sacked the manager yesterday, so their new manager will be coming in. I'm not sure who it is yet, but they'll be bringing a new manager in. He'll want to do well at the club. He'll bring his own players in, get rid of some. So it'll be interesting to see what level we're at because I'm guessing we'll start first team. And I'm guessing Southampton will play strike, quite a strong team because obviously um, they they will want to play for the FA Cup because they know they're not going to do too much in the league. So that's that. Um, I, I am going to Wigan away on Saturday and vlogging it. So make sure you subscribe for if you want to see that vlog. And thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also comment you know, your thoughts on Swansea game down below. Thank you for watching.